I woke up this morning uh, and felt a spiritual shift. Something is spiritually different in the air. And greetings, brothers and sisters. I hope you are having a blessed day. But I had a dream last night. There was this song being played or uh, one person singing uh, that I, I never heard of the song uh, in the dream. It was a song from the heaven. It wasn't a song that was made or created like in a studio in this realm, but it sounded so beautiful and, 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 and really catchy and really good. Like I had a desire for others to hear it because it was a really good song and it was beautiful. And it was a song being played or sung all about Yeshua Hamashiach and how good he is. It was a it was a praising song that sounded so good. Like that would like if you played it on the radio, like that would be your jam. It was really a just a a not of this realm type of song uh, that I was hearing. And there was more going on in the dream that just left my memory after I woke up. All I can really remember is how good that song sounded, even though I cannot recall one lyric to it. But there was also something going on. And even though I can't remember it, my spirit uh, in the dream, uh, mainly after I woke up, I knew the dream was associated to us as believers now that the election has come to pass. And, and there's now proven a winner, which is Donald Trump. And once again, we have to understand spiritually that the election is or was a catalyst for something spiritual to now take place or go forth. And what I am saying is that my dream and, and waking up to this new shift uh, that I feel spiritually, totally the, the comprehensive embodiment of a new dawn, new day, new phase, new chapter type of feeling. But the dream and, and the shift I feel now, my spirit is wanting to rejoice and it's not because of the election per se, or that Trump won, but spiritually the newness of what is getting ready to happen with us as believers who have been striving in holiness, following Father, our shepherd, wherever he goes, it feels like something is unlocked now. And I am happy about the, elect, uh, about the election. You know, Trump isn't exactly a brother in Christ, but again, his presence as president gives us believers more time to work the harvest. Hopefully, uh, the oppression and restraints that we as believers have been under will be lifted uh, a little, you know, which is all I care about more than any policy um, he he stands for because I am a, I'm a set apart creature. It doesn't matter to me about my dollar or comfort in this world, especially with what I know is coming in regardless after Trump, because this is, this is a temporary relief only. Uh, and my trust is in father. My trust and 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 would have been solid even if Kamala had won. Um, but Father, uh, all glory to Him. You know, He He has given me a, a spirit of peace over every fear that I do not harbor. So for the sake of my family in Christ and and those we can help get into Christ, uh, I am truly happy Trump won and will pray for His leadership to be used. Uh, by and for the Holy Spirit to lead him according to Father's will and, you know, praying for his protection also. But outside of that, something has happened, which is uh, good or will be good for the true saints in the spirit. I did a video not too long ago talking about the abomination of desolation and how I felt from what the Holy Spirit was revealing to me at that time that God on the, on the election, around the election, if not the day of election, is going to be giving... Uh, others to the spirit of blindness uh, through it. So it's about to get worse for those under that spirit that uh, we will be witnessing. You know, the measurement of people seeing will be an added judgment upon them, unfortunately. Uh, for those, you know, who will not be under that spirit, maybe that's what I am feeling. That's probably what the dream was about. Um, the the feeling result of, of the other side of the spectrum, if you will, you know, I can't remember what the dream was about. It just left me as soon as I woke up. Uh, I just know that a new shift has happened and I'm, I'm excited and I have been uh, lamenting for months, weary in spirit. I just prayed, Father, um, yesterday, or if not the day before yesterday, to please fill my cup more 
And uh, today I wake up feeling a newness and, and, and my spirit rejoices. It just, it really feels like a new shift. And it's like a fire that has been set under me as well. We have to really utilize this time now for the kingdom and not waste it. On the flip side of what I feel, the wicked, you know, the lost, those in deception, we're about to see a lot of shenanigans. But please, let's turn to Christ, press him more, pray more to get to know him and his in his word more fast and make that a weekly or a bi-weekly thing. But make it a regular occurrence you practice in your life. Pray for the laborers that they will reach hearts and, and move hearts of stone uh, uh, to be transformed into hearts of uh, flesh to move hearts of uh, 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 that don't believe towards believing and following Jesus Christ and intercede for those who in their hour when they realize they missed the mark, had it wrong or is suffering in judgment for their sins. When they have that awareness, if they but call upon the name of the Lord, let us pray that God will hear him, hear him or her from heaven and tend to their cause according to his will for their salvation. Let's pray for Trump, whether you voted or not. Hopefully you didn't out of hate or anything like that. But his presence in 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 the office is a is a blessing to believers in Christ. And can, let's continue down the straight and narrow. There is a new shift, hallelujah, for it. You know, so let's work more and harder for the kingdom. If uh, and and now let's really just pray for us uh, and 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 others in, in in our prayer time and take care of our relationship with Father, not our religion or week or weekly ritual unto Him, but our own personal intimate relationship with Him. Let's repent daily and profess repentance to the world daily. New day, new dawn. Let's just get to work. Blessings and shalom.